Hi everyone, it's Melissa. In the spirit of Halloween, I am making a series of three videos sharing books that I want to read from different spooky genres. So in these videos, I'm going to be sharing five books from three different spooky genres, um, horror, dystopian, and thrillers. When all of the videos are uploaded, I will be sure to link them in the cards and in the description box. Today I'm going to be sharing five books that I want to read that could be classified as thrillers or mysteries. In no particular order, book number one is I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh. I know very little about this book. I am going purely on recommendation. Oftentimes the problem with thrillers is that there are so many twists and turns that you can't really share too much about them without getting spoiled for plot. So the only thing I can really glean about this book um, is that the main character has suffered some sort of traumatic event and so has decided to start fresh and move to a remote area of the uh, Welsh coast. But of course she can't run away from her past and the memories of whatever it is that happened kind of haunt her and I'm going to assume that whatever this event was plays some sort of role in, in the plot of the thriller that her past catches up to her in some way. This was recommended by um, Emma from Drinking at My, Drinking at My, Drinking by My Shelf. And Emma is the queen of reading thrillers. So I'm gonna take her at her word that this is a great thriller. Book number two is Anything You Do Say by Jillian McAllister. Um, in this book, uh, the main character, Joanna, is, having a night out at the bar and there's this guy there that's just harassing her and won't leave her alone and then when she's walking home she hears footsteps behind her and they seem to be following her they're matching her pace and in a panic at some point she turns around and shoves the person behind her and this person falls down a stairwell and then is lying motionless at the bottom so in a split second Joanna has to decide does she get help or go help um, this person who is potentially a stalker and perhaps she will be arrested for murder or manslaughter if this person has in fact died? Or does she just run away and not tell anyone that this has happened? If memory serves me, this could be a sliding doors type of story where the book follows um, both of these choices to their conclusion. If that's the case, I am so pumped to read it. I have not read a book, I don't think, that has done that. Um, and I forget who mentioned this book, but I think it, it may also have been Emma from Drinking By My Shelf. Um, uh, book number three is Confessions by Kine Minato. Um, this book is about a teacher called Yuko who has broken off an engagement and is just having like a really hard time at life. And then her four-year-old daughter tragically and mysteriously dies on the playground um, at the school where she teaches. So Yuko resigns and on her last day of work, she walks into her classroom and tells her students that she knows that one of them is responsible for her daughter's death. This sounds so tense. <laughs> I can't even really describe how like, ugh, like how anxious just the description makes me feel. So the next time I'm in, I'm in the mood for like that really tense type of thriller, this is definitely the one um, that I will be picking up. Book number four is Magpie Murders by Anthony Horowitz. So this is definitely more on the mystery side of this list. So this features a book within a book and it follows an editor um, who works with a famous detective novelist and as she's reading his latest manus manuscript she is seeing what she thinks are clues um, within the text that seem to hint at a real life murder. It just sounds like something with a lot of twists, some red herrings, all that good stuff. And I heard about this book um, from Olive at A Book Olive. And finally, book number five is My Sister the Serial Killer by Oyakin Braithwaite. Um, this is a story about 
two sisters, one of whom is very um, respectable and responsible. She's a nurse. Um, and the other sister is quite the opposite. And this other sister um, has a habit of calling up her responsible sister and asking for help um, to clean up and cover up murders. <laughs> this sister has killed at least a couple, I think, of her partners or boyfriends. And she always says, she always tells her sister that it was her partner who instigated the violence and she was just defending herself. But it's, it's a repeating pattern. And her sister, the responsible sister, the nurse, wants to believe her sister and so does help her out and does help her cover up these killings. But then her sister, the serial killer, starts dating a man who she has, like the responsible sister, um, has been in love with for a while, like secretly in love with. So she very rightfully <laughs> is worried for his safety. Now this is technically a, a thriller, but also I've heard it's very satirical or has some kind of like um, dark comedy elements to it, which I really like. So I'm very excited to read this one to be kind of like scared and potentially laugh at the same time. Um, and I don't think I heard this from anyone specifically because it, it, there's kind of like a buzz around this book. Um, so I kind of heard it from all over the place. And this will definitely be one that I pick up when I want a bit of a, a spooky or thrilling read, but I'm also looking for um, a little bit of a lighthearted, might not be the right word, but more of a fun read. Those are five different thrillers and mysteries that I want to read. If you've read any of them, please comment below what you thought of them and I would love to have a chat. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll chat soon. Take care. Bye.